Kamathi Isurumuniya Temple in Sri Lanka and it is a fascinating site with many beautiful statues but there is an ancient structure which defies all explanation. This is a cave or a den-like structure which is considered sacred by locals and if you visit this place there are two reasons you feel really weird about this. One is the thousands of bats which are tightly packed inside and you don't understand why you see such a large number of bats here. But there is another question which will run through your subconscious mind. Why do you see these bats in such a bright place? We never see bats in broad daylight. Actually, bats don't like light. Their eyes are not adapted to this condition. In fact, bats go so far to avoid flying on full moon nights because even that much light is too bright for them. So why do bats tolerate this well-lit area and hang around this place. Locals believe that this den emits a magical sound which is not audible to human beings, but bats are mesmerized by this divine sound, which is why they stay here forever. This story seems like a fairy tale, but there is some strange coincidence between this folklore and modern scientific findings. Human beings can hear sounds only up to a frequency of 20 kilohertz and anything over 20 kilohertz is called ultrasonic frequency and we are not capable of hearing such frequency. However, bats can hear ultrasonic frequencies up to 200 kilohertz. Is it possible that this cave is emitting an ultrasonic frequency which attracts bats? How can a natural cave emit such a frequency? Now, at first sight, we think this is a natural cave, but if you observe carefully, we can see that it is not a natural structure at all. On the top, there is an arch neatly laid with stone slabs. You can see cubes cut out on the walls. There are several curvy lines carved all over the walls. And if we look carefully on the other side, we can see small stone slabs placed on top of each other. According to legend, there is an ancient device concealed behind the stone wall which emits a magical sound capable of mesmerizing these bats. Is such a device possible? Scientists have recently discovered that it is in fact possible to make bats come to your location by emitting specific ultrasonic frequencies. Bats do get attracted to these frequencies and will approach the source. What we see in the movie Batman Begins is based on facts. So today we do have such ultrasonic devices. We know that this is not a natural cave. So did ancient builders create some kind of ultrasonic device which is still hidden behind the wall, and if so, what does it look like? Perhaps the device would look like this strange carving, which is located less than half a mile away. This figure looks like a circuit diagram with complex symbols carved all over it. There is also a wave which looks remarkably similar to a sound wave. Is it possible that an actual device like this lays buried in the walls of the bat cave? This carving is known as the Stargate of Sri Lanka and is considered as a device that can transport us to different planets. What is even stranger is that there is yet another similar cave nearby, popularly known 
as the yoni. This yoni is also considered a wormhole, which can be activated using sound. Some people even claim that this is some kind of a sonic boom tunnel. Again, it also looks like a natural cave, but it is not. On the top, look at the rectangular slabs. They have been placed between the two large boulders. Let's go inside this cave and we can see how neatly the stone slabs have been arranged. What were ancient builders trying to do? On the walls, we can see cubes cut out and we can also see long, deep cuts just like the bat cave. Locals believe that there was a similar sound device placed here as well, which was destroyed many centuries ago. Maybe this is why there are no bats here. On top of the granite blocks, we can see remnants of a brick structure. Today, we can see light shining from the other side, but perhaps it originally had a brick wall at the end, which had an ultrasonic device attached to it. These broken brick blocks strewn around may have been part of that wall. So what do you think? Did ultrasonic portals exist in ancient times? How else can we explain the strange behavior of bats, the advanced technical drawing of the Stargate, and the beautiful Yoni Cave?